Hey everybody, Sebastian here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video on how to deploy Kerberos authentication using the F5 Big IP APM module. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do, let's talk about our environment. We have a uh, Windows uh, AD uh, right here with DNS setup for our website and our IIS server. Uh, we created a user account uh, or a service account that we're gonna use for authentication. Uh, we have our Windows client. There's no Kerberos tickets, just to make sure. And we're gonna have a Windows server. So let's configure our Windows IIS server first. Uh, first thing we wanna do is just a local server. So if I open up the browser here, I'm just logged right into the web page. Pretty simple. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do first, uh, let's configure uh, our accounts. Uh, first thing what we're gonna do is just is configure our service account. So let's set the SPN for uh, HTTP portal dot net. My maniac is uh, just the domain and my service account. So I've already done this. So it's just gonna tell me there's already a duplicate. Um, if you already have a service account, you can just use the following command uh, to uh, verify uh, all the services that this uh, account belongs to. So just right now, it belongs to portal.maniac.net and uh, portal. So let's log into our IS manager. First thing we're gonna do is under uh, default pools, we're gonna set the identity to our domain so if we click on advanced settings, go all the way under process model, under identity, what you have to do by default, it's set up with built-in account. Uh, what you want to do is click on custom, put in the username, let's do service and then the password. <clears throat> let's click on okay. Excellent. Next. What we're gonna do is go to our website. We wanna make sure our authentication is set to Windows off, and we want to have the HTTP 401 challenge. And to change this, just click on providers and make sure this is set to negotiate. Then what we're gonna do under configuration editor, <clears throat> what you wanna do is go to system web server security authentication and windows authentication what we want to do is make sure this use app pool credentials is set to true <clears throat> by default it's false so we're going to click on true and click on apply once we've set up these settings what we want to do is restart iis so let's just do iis reset <clears throat> or restart So what happens now if, if we try to log on to our page? So if I go portal.maniac.net, <clears throat> I don't get any access right now. So what we're gonna do is go to our virtual server. Let's build our F5 virtual server. Uh, let's go to uh, local traffic virtual servers. We're going to build our VIP. We're just going to go portal. We'll set the IP address to 55. We'll run this on port 443. Create an HTTP profile. For this demo, we're just going to use the uh, generic client SSL cert. We'll build a new pool. We'll just call this IIS pool. Give it a health monitor. And I already have the node in here, uh, website.maniac.net and wserver.maniac.net uh, runs on port 80. What the F5 will do is query the DNS server for the IP address so the pool's IP can be changed automatically. It's a nice feature. Click on finish. And we'll click on finish here. So our pool member's up, our pool server's up, our F5 VIP is online. Let's go to our Windows server again. And uh, now that we can hit this DNS, let's go portal. So now it's asking us for a username and password. This is what we want to eliminate. We want to use 
uh, Kerberos authentication for it to pass that username and password inside the Kerberos header. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do on the actual Windows server is we're gonna create a KT pass. Um, actually, I already have one in here. So um, KT pass, the principal name. So here's portal.maniac.net is what the URL is gonna be. At maniac.net, which is the domain, make sure this is in capital. Uh, we're gonna set that user account we created. Uh, we're gonna set this type to uh, NT principal or password. And we're just gonna output the key. Uh, let's just uh, call this portal demo uh, into my C temp. So when we do this, we, you can see it successfully is able to uh, create the key and it's mapping to the service. So now we have to log into the F5 and um, build our APM policy. <clears throat> so we're gonna go to access and authentication and Kerberos. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we're gonna click on create. We're gonna give this a name. So let's just call this Kerberos authentication or off. Uh, the realm is Maniac. That's my domain name. And this is just an HTTP service. We're gonna select that uh, key tab file. So I'm already on the server. So ctemp portal. We're gonna click on finish. Perfect. Now let's build that uh, APM policy. So under access and uh, profiles and policies, we're gonna click on create. Let's call this demo portal maniac.net. <clears throat> I'm just gonna select all, just use the standard one. We'll select English, let's click on create. All right, perfect. Uh, we'll click on edit to edit the profile because we get this 401 request, what we need to do is uh, cre create a logon for 401 response. So it will respond to Kerberos authentication. Click on add. Uh, we're gonna set our HTTP auth to negotiate just like we did on the IAS server. Click on save. Uh, under negotiate, we will click on authentication and select Kerberos. So Kerberos authentication. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna select that Kerberos server we built. We're gonna enable request based off. We'll click on save. And we wanna make sure under success we have allow on here. <clears throat> What we can also do is if uh, the user doesn't have Kerberos or it's not set up, we can uh, provide AD auth. So user gets presented and they could log on based on AD. So let's click on the apply button. So that policy gets pushed. Now what we do is we go to our virtual server. Scroll all the way to the bottom under access policy. And we're going to select that... Uh, demo policy we created. So let's click on update. <clears throat> Excellent. What we'll also do is under um, access and events, um, where am I here? Event logs and settings. Uh, we'll create a new uh, debug profile so we can see everything that's going on. and we'll select that policy underneath it. <clears throat> so this will allow us to kind of debug the, uh, um, if we have any trouble. All right, so let's go to, let's close our browser down. We still have nothing on our KT list. Let's open up our website. Let's go to portal again. Boom, we're still presented uh, with the uh, logon, but we're not authorized. So we get a different uh, error page this time. Uh, what we have to make sure is on our machines under internet options, security, local internet traffic, advanced. We want to make sure we have 
portal.monyak.net added in here. <clears throat> Press OK. So let's just close this page down. <laughs> Still nothing. Let's open the browser up this time. Let's take a look at our network tool so we're able to see what's actually happening. All right, let's go back to HTTPS portal. And now we are into the website. So what happened here is we hit the portal website. Uh, we see a 302 found. Uh, we see our negotiation key here, our authentication inside the requ response header. And then in the response header, we see our authorization. So there you go. Uh, this is how you set up the uh, F5 with uh, Kerberos authentication.